Um, I just wanted to give you an update of our camper conversion. Um, we've been busy this weekend despite the heat. We're currently going through a heat wave. It's really hot, but uh, we're getting there. So I just thought I'd give you a quick show and tell of what we've done. So we've insulated the walls and the ceiling. We've thread our wires through for all of our electrics. Uh, they're not connected yet, obviously. Um, we've just got the floor to do. Uh, we've not insulated the floor yet, but we're just about to cut the plywood um, to put down. So we've got the insulation and the plywood to put on the floor. Then we can start finishing the electrics. We've got to wire up the um, fuse board and the battery, etc. We've just got a battery from Halfords today. Um, and we've also put our sunroof in, which I wanted to show you. So yeah, take a look at this. So here is our sunroof. Looks good. Open it like this. I think we're going to need it open today anyway because it is absolutely boiling. It's about 34 degrees outside. There is a breeze, but it's a warm one, so it makes no difference. And it goes right up like that. I don't know if you can see. If I go outside the van, I'll show you. there's the roof vent open like that. This um, floor here was the original floor that was fitted with the chairs screwed in. We're just using it as a template to cut our fresh new plywood floor. And then this is the insulated sides. We just used some foil backed bubble wrap as insulation with some foil tape. Like that. Somewhere. We've just um, put the wood, two b pieces of 2b1 roof flat um, as noggins, that's what we're going to screw our ceiling up with. So yeah, it's coming on well, just got some new speakers so we'll take those out, they're the original ones that were in here and we'll screw them up later. Um, but it's looking good, windows are all tinted now. very dark on a night which is good we don't want anybody looking in and we don't really want to be looking out and seeing people um, and this is our battery that we got from Halfords it's a class B leisure battery we couldn't decide if we wanted a class A or a class B because um, we will be going off-road at some point majority of the time we will be in um, electric hookup campsites but for the small amount of time that we will be going off-road that will come in handy if you're ultimately going off-road you need a class A battery um, to be able to handle the amount of usage but class B works well enough for us so yeah so there'll be some big changes today and I'll get back to you and show you what we get on with today so we'll see you all later